some of the things I've been doing re recently. Uh, and my engine's coming tomorrow. I'm so jazzed. Um, and so with the engine has to come gearbox oil change, spark plug change. Uh, of course, you know, make sure everything's wired and, and I'm going to get it <clears throat> get it going. But um, so what I've been working on here is the panel. Um, and you can see it's, it's pretty close to being done. Um, I've got a, a master switch here that's probably going to power up my new transponder. I got a Trig uh, T22 uh, ADSB setup. This is awesome. I'm so excited about it. I got a circuit breaker, a uh, number three circuit breaker for it. I'm going to put a number one in here. I've got a number 15 in here for ignition, and then the ignition switch is installed. And I have my Hobbs meter down here installed. So I just have to wire everything up uh, and there. Um, and then here's here's what I got for the ADSB bundle because I am under the neath the, the mode. C Vale of Hartsfield. I'm under the 30 miles from the airport. So what I'm going to do is run the controller down to this GPS source right here. And, I, and this is the, the Trig TN72. Um, this bundle was pretty cheap. It's, um, it's not for certified aircraft, but obviously I'm building an experimental, so I don't need it. But um, this is your GPS source, and then this is going to have a coaxial cable. Uh, that's a QMA connector there. And I'm going to actually build these D connectors to put it in. I'm going to do the pins on this one. So anyway, this is going to run uh, from a coaxial cable that's going to come up here. And on top of here is going to be my trig. Uh, this is the, oh, I can't remember what this is, TA70, I think. And this is the GPS antenna. So that's going to be up here, probably installed on top of my composite or my fiberglass piece up top. So that's up there. And then this, uh, this system is going to be uh, run to that. And then here is going to have this, this cable connector is going to be actually connected to the transponder. And you can see it down there. I'm going to go ahead um, pretty soon and uh, I'm going to screw in the mounting tray to the bottom of the, um, to the sheet metal here. Um, and then I can remove it pretty easily. There's a clip in the back. In fact, if I come down here, you can see it. So this is just getting ready for my wiring. I'm going to run it through. But uh, there's that clip in the back right there. Pretty easy to remove. And this has a coaxial cable. That's a TNC connector. And that one's going to go to um, a place probably right here behind um, the seat. And that's where the transponder antenna is going to be. So that's the setup right there as far as ADSB. So I'm glad I have it because if I want to go north and do cross countries, I'm going to have to either go around Hartsfield airspace or just transit the airspace and I can transit the airspace uh, at 5,000 feet when it's a low workload uh, time. So anyway, um, as far as radios, this is what I got. I got a Yaesu, uh, uh, I can't remember what, <laughs> Yaesu 550 or something like that. Um, and this one is the AA battery version, so it'll last quite a bit. I put the clip on just temporarily here because I'll probably build a little um, mounting area here and I'm going to probably have it like right up here or something. Um, I'm thinking possibly about putting it on this side because it's easier for me when I'm flying with my right hand to, to work it. But anyway, I have that as my radio. Not sure exactly where I'm going to put it. Uh, this is connected in using an adapter that does come with it. Sorry, I'm not really looking at where I'm filming, but um, try not to be too wordy, but I want to show you the setup here. So I have this, um, this adapter it comes with the Yaesu and that comes around here to the Sigtronics and this is called the Transcom 2 and uh, this is just a two place right here. This is really nice, this thing. Uh, first of all, it was pretty inexpensive. It got rated really well. Um, it has the, uh, this just plugs right into uh, to the Sigtronics and then from here your headset. Now this is not my headset I'm going to use. This is just an old headset. Uh, I've got some um, Bose Quiet Comfort. 25s coming that are going to be wired and I'm going to use a Ufly mic solution for that. It's much cheaper to do it that way. Um, but anyway, this is your um, your intercom. So it goes in here. I've got a push to talk. This is a um, Sigtronics push to talk that connects up here. So you can hear that and that'll be installed in nice and tight when I uh, do the final installation. But anyway, got a squelch volume control here. It's got an input for uh, for listening to your phone music and stuff like that it's got an auxiliary out so you can record your audio and then it's got the back seat uh, things as well so you can set up a push to talk in the back if you want to uh, from to, if you um, if I do instructing in this thing I'll definitely get one and uh, but that's the that's the simple setup this runs off of a 9 volt battery it comes with it this right here is uh, like I said six AA batteries and, and I got the the long life Duracells 
and eventually what I might do is run like a cigarette lighter underneath here and have a little um, section for that and I'll plug I would plug this in so this is running this you get 40 hours on one 9 volt battery I'm not going to power that you can it comes with an optional power for it and uh, yeah and so I think that's that's my setup but I got one more circuit breaker coming up here this is going to be a one one amp circuit breaker because that's part of the ADSB bundle system. So the three is working with a transponder and then one um, is going to be for another part of the system. I think it's actually the, the TN72 GPS position source because that's independently powered. Um, this is powered from the battery. This is powered from the battery. And then later I'll show you the wiring diagram. And man, I'll tell you, it is not going to be, it's not going to be hard, but it's not going to be uh, easy to, uh, you got to be really meticulous where those pins go because you don't want to do reverse ground and power on this thing. It'll you'll fry the system uh, according to the manual. So anyway, that's the setup. Uh, just got some things. What do I have left to do? Um, <laughs> all the wiring when the engine comes. I want to get the starter. I want to get the engine set up. I want to get the starter solenoid in and and the um, regulator rectifier working. I want to get obviously the fuel system uh, connected. And once that's done. Uh, I'll probably, I'll do all the wiring for the instruments and then I'll probably wrap this thing in fabric and, uh, and then I'm kind of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And then I'll eventually connect up the wings, you know, get everything, uh, get everything painted, connect the wings up, run the struts and uh, do all the last little things I have to do like the Lexan. Sorry for being so wordy, but I did want to show you what I was doing for my uh, transponder ADSB bundle solution. And Trig just seems like the way to go. I mean, it is just affordable. Um, and uh, it's, it'll be, uh, I think, a, a, great, a great thing to have. I'm not going to do any traffic or TIS or anything like that or uh, uh, ADSB in or anything. I'm just, you know, not even GPS solution. I I'm going to have my, my uh, iPad for that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for bearing with me so long on this thing. And um, hoping to make some progress here soon. This is a funny video probably because of what I did, but um, this is the wiring harness I created for the ADSB trig bundle. So this right here, you can see are the pins that I used to, uh, this is the transponder, the TT22. And I didn't need all the pins because I'm not doing ADSB in, uh, you know, and other things. There's there's things there for that. but. But I, I, th this all came with the ADSB bundle. Um, I labeled everything, but this is just so that if I were to get back in here, I'd be able to see it. I'm going to tie wrap these. But the, the gist is, is that this is going to go into the controller, and that's about four feet of wire I have in there. And that, that looks like it'll be plenty for what I need. And then that is going to um, also shoot off onto the this third... Um, I guess they call these things, um, oh, I can't remember. This is just the nine pin thing. There, I can't remember. This is like the E one, DE, I think. And then there's, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Um, but you can see the pins that I put in here. There's only like four of them. And, and uh, so this is the female connector. And then this is going to be towards the, for, uh, for the GPS source. So this is the, uh, an out to the transponder. Um, and, uh, and then there's, um, Oh, what is there, a ground wire, a power wire. Uh, this is going to be ind independently powered through one circuit breaker, one amp circuit breaker there. And uh, then uh, another line, I think there's two grounds or something like that. So anyway, 
And then I have over here, the loose ends are all the, the grounds and the power um, to the circuit breakers. Two to the circuit breakers and there's three grounds in here. So that was it, but man, I tell you, you gotta really go slow. And I got a kink in there, but that's okay. I'll just tie wrap it in front and behind it someplace. And uh, maybe even put it inside a, like a housing. But uh, yeah, it took me several hours to do this. And uh, hopefully it works. I'm confident enough to where I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I put these things on and I can unscrew them if I need to and get in there. But uh, I, I'm trusting that everything is where it needs to be. You, I had to look like, you know, three times and there's really, really small, not on this side, but the other side, for this will focus, you can actually see that it's numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So um, it's really, it's labeled there. And then the same for this one, uh, this is labeled on the wiring side. Looking at it, this would be, um, this would be like one, two, three, four, five, all the way to 13 and then 14 to 25. This is a 25 pin D connector. Uh, and I think this is called like a, like a DB, DB25. Uh, anyway, hope it works. All right, another really cool thing here is the engine came today. Thank you, Art. Art Van Eaton, uh, out in Oregon. So he did a great job packing this thing up. And uh, very good job. Thank you again, Art, for that. That was awesome. So here it is. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm just going to take it bit by bit. Uh, the first thing is getting it out of here and getting it on top of the root tube. So I'm not sure if I'm doing an engine hoist or we're just going to hoist it up there. I think an engine hoist might be kind of a safe, nice bet. Anyway, panel's coming along. I think I took a, a video yesterday of this. Glad I got all this time to work on it.